Scorpio, my water babies, positive vibes, motivation, inspiration, elevation, love, light, positive energy, goodwill, peace, and healing on your way. Please visit go.world where every physical ailment meets a physical healing. Check out my new ebook, Bad Health is Big Business, baby. I love you and I miss you. Scorpio, let's have a reading about your past, present, and future. Let's shuffle the deck together and see what Lord God, Spirit, Universe, Source, Strength, Jesus Christ has for you guys. Tap the screen, tap the screen, tap the screen, share your energy. Come on, Scorpio, can you please tap the deck, tap the deck, tap the deck, share your energy so we can get an accurate reading, baby. All right. Lord God, Spirit, Universe, Source, Strength, Jesus Christ, all your angels, please use my mind, body, heart, soul, mind, and spirit, being and vocals entirely to be the representation of you and so i can give an accurate truthful reading to your people i bind every demon devil and satan in the mighty name of jesus christ and command them to flee all right to my scorpios i love you guys i miss you so much i want you guys to stay positive i want to let you know i will be using the brotherhood of light egyptian tarot deck a very powerful deck but we also shall be using reversals Tarot is just guidelines. It's kind of just giving you a heads up of what can happen. And if you, but we can make changes. We're the masters of our fate. We're the captains of our soul. We navigate where we want it to go. So just because if something comes up in the reading that we do not care for, we want a different result. We're getting the heads up and we can also always change it. Positive frequencies, positive thoughts, love always can attract positive blessings and change. These are the rules of the universe, just like a magnet. Let's use these things. All right. So we're going to make sure we cut this up together. Please share your energy with me as we're going. I'll ask you to tap this deck and we cut this up. And we'll figure out where we're heading with our past, present, and our future reading to my Scorpios. Come on, tap that screen, tap that screen, tap that screen. Scorpio, did you... Tap the deck, tap the deck, tap the deck. All right, baby, baby. And we're going to cut it up, cut it up, cut it up. We will be using the Solemn Seal formation for tarot for past, present, future. All right. So let's see what we have for my Scorpios. We're heading, we're starting off with the seven of scepters, where it is a double Sagittarius sign, it is a fire sign. Therefore, hmm. I'm wondering, guys, if you keeping your fire burning is in reverse. So I'm not sure if in the in the past it seems like your fire has been put out, your will to do something. It seems like you, as a water sign, we can get comfortable in the most positive, most luxurious places, or in the most dangerous and ugly and worst places. So that is what is is dangerous for us. But one of our greatest powers is that we can make sure that we fit in any way, shape, or form and acclimate to that, but and accommodate that, but. Let's see, the seven of scepters. Sevens, is, sevens are philosophy, long journeys, publishing, uh, teaching, outdoor sports. So you guys are the superstar. I mean, you guys actually teach, show, and show the way. But when it comes to the seven of scepters, it's success in publishing and teaching your devotion, which is in an upside down position. Now, now, uh, Scorpios, you are used to helping everybody else before you even help yourself. That's true. And your long journey, you've been taking a long journey, but I think you've been cutting it short. You haven't been publishing your, your gifts or teaching or showing your gifts or teaching whatever you know, your knowledge. You've, you're full of knowledge. You're like a philosopher, but you're hiding in your cultivating all the knowledge for yourself that's what it seems like it's coming into so instead of and but you always help those around you and you always make sure you're in a comfortable place but we want to make sure that you're in your highest frequency so we're coming back to that now when it comes into we have the one of coins which is uh double libra sign it's in the reverse double libra sign in the reverse and i'm wondering why we have the ace of this ace of coins um which is the one you know is uh in reverse and that is your short journey and that so is in a in reverse so maybe you have 
you haven't had a short journey. You've been a long journey, but you may have been slowing up your progression. It looks like you have not been doing everything for your highest self, maybe even doing your highest self for everyone else and you feel good for helping everyone, but that's where it's coming from right here, unbalanced. So your world is unbalanced, but you still fit in and make sure everything's good because you're still sustaining. You're like one of the strongest signs in the universe. So you can find comfort and you feel comfortable. Now we're heading towards a ne your next card and your past, which is a major arcana, a major, major arcana, which is the wheel. And you see, this is you at the top. This is you. You're that big king. You're that big client, that big lion, that big, uh, that majestic white beast. But then you see the devil, and then you also see your other angels right here. And this is like Anubis, king of the underworld, rules the underworld. Not negative, just about rebirth, death, rebirth, uh, create, cre uh, creation. But as you see, you being at the top. You have a sphere that as his wheel turns, as your mind turns, which one are you going to kill? Which one are you going to let go? Now, this blue being your third eye, so as everything's happening in your head. The war of the world happens in your head, so where the head goes, the body shall follow. Will you continue to embrace your addiction? A thing that doesn't serve you, something that holds you back, something that just keeps you set and comfortable? Or will you allow the change? The death is something to actually change and reincarnate into something beautiful. And this is in the upright. So it seems as though coming into your present fairly within your in your recent past, you realize that there's two lives. You have your, your angels and you have your demons on each side. And you you understand that you play very well with both. And that is a very powerful, uh, a very powerful um attribute but just because you play well doesn't mean that they play well or play fair also so you're in the wheel where you can make the decision everyone doesn't get this chance this is a uh, neutral piscean energy this is neutral water energy so you have the choice it seems as though you're understanding things now you you're you're noticing the light has come on in your head now leading on do we have the four of swords but it's in reverse Four swords in reverse. Now we're coming more so heading into our present. Now four of swords is you is now double Taurus, so it means that you lead with logic, love, stability, intellect. You're not into illusions, you're keep it real. So you're understanding what's real, what's false, so you know the lay of the land, but it's in reverse. So maybe that you are hoping, you're wishing that things work out. Now you're doing work, but you're not doing the best that you can. You're not putting your full your your full intention and your full energy into it. You're putting enough energy to sustain and make sure many people don't notice, but you know if you're living your best self or not. And this is a uh, energy where a fruitfulness, force, legacy, spirit, communion, the dead, partners, money. Uh, so when it comes into the four swords, remorse for the past actions, determination. So it seems as though coming into your present, you are getting sick of playing around. You're getting sick of being stagnant. And when you're a Scorpio like that, I, I feel as though we're going to make the right decision. We're going to make a strong change for your benefit, not only for you, but those around you, because you want to take care of those around you. But you deserve it. And this is a neutral sign. This can be male, female, but I feel as though that you're going to make the right movements to change your life. Now we have the three of swords in the upright now, coming into your present, more so into the present. Uh, this is a Taurus. This could be a male, female around you. It could be a. Now this is Virgo energy, which is Earth energy foundation. It's kind of like an Aries energy. We have the fire to be, to actually change some things, to put in some type of work, to actually make sure things are really true. I feel as though this is where you're making the decision to build your life. And when it comes to the tray of swords, the three of swords, this has to do with partnership. Open, open enemies, you'll see your enemies, lawsuits, dealing with the public. So how do you want to deal with people? In this, in this present, 
lawsuit or divorce idealism so are you going to no this is a judgment on yourself you're going to judge yourself rightly or dishonestly but if you do not judge yourself the right way and you give into your habits instead of letting those things die off and rebirthing yourself to your higher self then you're going to divorce from your your bright future so you're a superstar but superstars they which much is given, much is expected. So, so many people will be watching you and following you. We need you to be in your highest frequency. Not saying that you can't have a few, have any flaws. Not saying that you have to be totally 100% perfect. No, none of us are. But we need you to have the intention of building yourself in your life where you are not controlled and navigated by your habits from your addictions. Things that don't serve you because... Even though you you play good with the spirits, all of them don't have the right intentions for you. So, uh, heading towards more of your present into the future, we have the Five of Swords, which is a Taurus and a Virgo sign, which is Earth. You find stability. It feels like it's fine stability. It is. It could be male, female, and when you look at this, it's in the upright. You see these swords are pos positioned in a way of defense with any way that anyone tries to get into or break this up, they can be hurt. You know, it's structured in a way that cannot be pulled apart, but also if anyone tries to attack it, they will be, they can damage themselves. So you're protecting your dreams. I think you're protecting your intellect and where you want to go. You're actually protecting yourself way better now. So let me make sure that that is... Let's see what we, what we have to say about that. The Five of Swords, which is Five of Swords, is now is good fortune ruled by Jupiter and is good luck. This Five of Swords, but escape from danger and struggle. So yes, I'm telling you guys are taking life seriously now. You understand that those that you help, you can't help anyone till you help yourself, and you want to be able to help yourself. And when you're in a better place, if you feel better, you look better, you're living better. Therefore, you can help those, and you can enjoy yourself. You're going to be able to fit into wherever you want to fit into, into your placement. But it's much easier to live when you live into, if you live the level that you're supposed to live and you're not sacrificing your sanity or your comfort for anyone else. So it seems like you're tuning into that and you're doing that. So we're coming from a uh, lag mentality. We're coming into, you're, you're actually noticing that you have a lack of mentality, a lack of, of resource and why? Because you got comfortable but you're noticing it and now you're making the changes and coming into the future we do have the three of coins which is a libra sign and a pisces sign which is in reverse libra and pisces uh three coins and your stars are falling from the sky instead of falling onto your money so the the tray of of coins hmm the tray of coins as we say is partnership openness lawsuits and dealing with the public Trey of coins is marriage for money. So um, if you're not going to protect your, if you don't protect yourself and continue to stay with your, your gifts and protect your energy and live your best life, just because you're worried about yourself doesn't mean that you're a bad person or selfish. No, you came in this world by yourself. You're going to leave by yourself. There's personal and original blessings just for you, not just to be given to everybody, it's for you. Now, if you choose to give to people, that's up to you, and that's fine. But we need you to be a hog, a hoggy doggy. I need you to take all your blessings for yourself right now because you've been living in obviously less than what you deserve and what you're made for. So if you don't, if you do not, you're going to this marriage for money. This shows that you're going to have to lean on to others. It means that they're, that you're going to have to, everyone's, everyone has to put in the maximum amount of work just to make sure ends meet. Instead of you protecting your gifts, showing your gifts, being the superstar that you are, being, being very uh, powerful, uh, being very blessed, financially stable, and then we meet someone else that has their own blessings financially stable that you can become a power couple or a powerhouse and everything or even if when it comes you're not marry, marrying for stability you're marrying because of love and if the and the money's already there so if the love is there that means that you have the comfort but if you don't have the money 
not saying you're not marrying for love, but there's going to be a lot more that's going to be needed to be done to make sure it sustains and your life can be sustained. You're going to have to work harder. Everyone's going to have to do more. As we say their part, no, they're going to have to do more than the, their part just to sustain in this future. That's why I see, because if you don't step up and actually bring in your blessings, which can cover so many things and make life so much easier, it seems that people are going to have to work double time because you see the stars are actually falling off of your money. They're falling away from you. So I think as long as you you recognize that what what state of living you have been in, you understand why you have been, but now you understand the change. You understand that you have the opportunity to change your life. And if you do, then you're going to have a fruitful, luxurious, beautiful life. But if you don't, is saying that marriage for money, that means that you're going to be marrying for all the wrong reasons and it's going to be built on all the wrong foundations. And that's not going to be comfortable for you. So I hope this has been a blessing to you. I hope you uh, that you found something that resonates. If you have, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I love you, Scorpio.